Garo Hills of Meghalaya, known for its incredibly rich biodiversity, have lost about 100,000 hectares of its forests in a small span of 15 years. Age-old agricultural practices like slash and burn cultivation, known as zooming, have fragmented the forests, hindering wildlife movement and increasing human-wildlife conflict, especially with elephants. Wildlife Trust of India has been working in this area to strengthen the long-term survival of elephants by securing the Bagmara Balpakram Elephant Corridor in partnership with local communities and government. The Wildlife Trust of India was set up 20 years ago by me with the uh, aim of protecting India's wildlife with a vision that if we manage to do so, that we would secure India's natural heritage. We have been persuading the Garo people to set aside land voluntarily using their traditional laws for biodiversity protection. And in doing so, all that we are offering them is a little help in bringing their lives to the mainstream. We have already set aside more than 77,000 hectares of land in various forms. But the most interesting form is the village reserve forest, which is a traditional concept of the Garo people of setting aside land. And we have shown the world that in a state where only 7% of land is controlled by government, that the community can willingly protect their own wildlife. The Garo Green Spine is a project to link uh, Balfakram to Nokrek through Bagmara and in doing so protect 1,000 hectares of land set it aside and impact the livelihoods and the living ways of 300 families uh, of nearly 2,500 people directly. As a result, this project as we have conceptualized it is a win-win not only for the Garo people but also for wildlife and for India's uh, international commitments in terms of uh, the various conventions that we have signed on to.